Hey fam, we are proud partners with Car Marshall. So if you or someone you know are looking for a new or used car, you can perform a nationwide search and it's free, 100% free. The best part is they help you find a car and actually negotiate the price for a hassle-free car buying experience. You can find the link in the video description box below to our channel sponsor, Car Marshall. Thank you, beautiful people. We appreciate your support. Hey everybody, hi uh, YouTube family. We are back to talk about this situation. This is Ann and Trey. Say hello, Trey. Hi everybody. So I just called her because this situation is very, very uh, disturbing. It's a popular YouTuber, uh, the you know on the Prince family uh, YouTube channel with uh, Damien and uh, Bianca, husband and wife. So the situation is this, they, they described a family uh, melee. I mean, it was a fight and uh, Damien, young Damien, cause the, both the dad and, uh, and the, the son have the same name. So I have to say young or seniors. Okay, so young Damien, um, he was fighting. He had a fight with his stepfather, as described in the video. And in the scuffle, somehow or the other, because um, they don't go into great detail, but basically the stepdad grabbed a fork, a two-pronged fork. Damien called it a pitchfork, but I, you know, I saw the little pic, the little cartoon animation. It looks like a fork that you would use for like barbecue, right? He threw that. Young Damien was hit in the upper shoulder of his arm, the upper area of his arm, but close to the shoulder, and was bleeding profusely. Okay. As a result, police was called and the ambulance had to come and take him to the hospital. He was bleeding all over his shirt, uh, according to this, the description. I don't know. What I don't know is. Um, how old he was. He does not indicate the age. But to me, that's irrelevant because what happened afterwards is the part that really upset me, which is Damien Sr., who is the biological father, um, wanted his children uh, because apparently the, uh, CPS came, got involved and came and took the children, took uh, Damien and another child. Um, I believe it was his brother. I don't remember all the particulars, but basically here we have a biological father who stepped up to the plate, but was denied custody of his children because CPS preferred foster care and placed the children in foster care over this biological father because the, the biological father, D Damien Sr., had a... Um, a prior conviction. He had spent some time in, in prison. I believe it was nine years. I don't know what the uh, charges were. And to me, that's irrelevant. Um, I'm not really, you know, too uh, trying well, to. It would depend on, yeah, it would depend on what the charges were and what the state is. So, yeah, I don't know what state, don't know the charge. Um, yeah, each state's going to have its own sort of um, stipulated statutes for something like that. Right. Um, I know in my state, uh, what, what it's called, if you, you have some time, is hmm. <laughs> you are, in my state, must be a three time offender. Right. Then they would consider you to be depraved. And as a depraved person, mm -hmm. you're not able to take care of a child. Okay. So it would depend mm -hmm. on how many and um, what it was about. Yeah. So the you know, exact those people pertaining to and it was in the violent crime or not, have his children. And that he, he's crime stepping up his door. Was, uh, I guess the child, like all these little different factors that they were in. So okay, presuming I just wanted to clip the name of the family. Take a guess, and say it probably had nothing to do with 
violence. That's what I was getting ready to say. I'm going to I'm going to say let's let's focus on both sides of the fence. Let's play devil's advocate if it if it was. But let's talk about if it wasn't if it what let's just say everything all systems were good. You know, this he was just convicted the one time and um, and it was a nonviolent crime. Then what can he do? I believe he still has the right, you know, however many years it was that this incident happened, he still has the right to sue the state. He has a valid claim against the state. Especially especially the child. The child. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, cool. Let me stop this video. Yeah, the children have rights, too. They have rights to liberty. They have rights to familial association. They have rights to happiness. And they do have all these rights. As much as, you know, I've actually spoken with people Yeah, don't know. Uh, All all that was said on the video by uh, Damien Sr. was that he repeatedly uh, contacted uh, the CPS uh, agency and he was repeatedly denied and his children are, you know, remained in the in foster care. I know that um, what we know, uh, because we don't know a lot about the details, but what we do know is uh, Damien uh, Jr., is uh he's 27 years old don't know how old what his age was at the time of the incident and so we have a lot of questions but you know i just wanted to put this together really quick because if this man um you know has uh a rebuttable um uh, claim he can he can make a claim and sue you know the state and then um and then you reminded me that the child you know who's now uh, an adult himself he can sue too So I just wanted to put that birdie out there because a lot, I know that this is going to touch a lot of families who are denied, you know, custody of their children uh, over, um, you know, foster care. And there's something seriously wrong with a, with a system that, that does that to a parent or uh, a, you know, a biological um, family member, be it the mother, father, grandmother, aunt, you know, uncle, whomever, someone that is is biological should be preferred, um, you know, over people and above have, foster care. People have a little confused notion of what the court is. What, what people don't understand is the court moves without you. It doesn't need you to participate in order to move. See, when people first get into war, they believe that someone's going to see that this is totally messed up and stupid, and somehow they're going to say, no, oh, this is in cloud, and they think that's what's going to happen. This is not what you should say. The court order is going to move out here. So if someone says you're depraved, and you just let it linger in the air, mm-hmm. the court's going to move on it, whether mm-hmm. you like it or not. Yeah. You have to say something. You have to say something. 
And you have to make sure that if someone raises an issue that is rebuttable, such as this, you have to make sure to corner them. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. If, if you think I'm depraved, I'll be depraved. It's fine. But what evidence do you have to show that my so-called depravity will adversely affect my child's growth, emotional, physical, psychological health? Show me the evidence that I can see with my eyes that somehow this depravity it, it reduces my ability to be a father. You know, these are the things that we're not doing. That is very important. We're hugely important. Right. And, you know, part of the issue is, is, um, family court is just a whole different animal to deal with. Okay. That's just number one. Number two, we have a lot of people who just, we just don't have the, the background and the experience and the knowledge, uh, you know, when, when being accused. But the one thing that the one resounding message I want to get across in this video and in all, and in, in this, in this channel period is to make sure people understand whenever someone makes a claim against you it doesn't matter if it's a judge it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a, an opposing party it could be a police officer we have been led to believe that we have to prove our innocence that is incorrect we do not have to prove our innocence they have to prove their case they have to prove their claims against you and when I started to realize that, I it just changes everything. It changes the whole. It's a it's a freaking game changer. So if they if make a ask, if you don't ask where the evidence is, we don't without you yet again. Right. Presuming that you don't require it, yet evidence because you admit it. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to say, "Hey, I this. No, no, exactly. If you don't say there's no evidence to support that. Exactly. Then the court says, "Well, she doesn't need evidence to support it because she admits it." Right. It's 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 like you're admitting it and uh, and they don't have to prove it because you're not raising it as an issue. You know, you don't have to prove your innocence. They have to prove that their claim is correct. So once you realize just that one little simple piece of it, of the of the puzzle, you're already halfway there. So make them prove it, make them prove it, make them prove it. If they have nothing they have to back down. They have to withdraw their claim. That's just that simple. It's just that freaking simple. So, um, I yeah, I just wanted to jump on this and just talk about that really quickly. Um, okay, we're at the twelve minute mark. <laughs> All right. Any final any final words? Final thoughts? Think backwards. It's not about what they're saying to you. It's about what they're not saying. Simple. And there you go. Not so <laughs> I know, I know, because what happens is emotions, you know, are flying high, running high. And then, you know, before you know it, people are arguing back and forth. And then it just becomes a whole, you know, massive confusion. But yeah. just keep it simple. Just work yourself backwards and make them prove it. You don't have a doggone thing to prove. And sue, 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 sue wrongdoers. I'm all for it. <laughs> all right, you guys, that's all we have for you today. We'll just go ahead and uh, encourage you to, you know, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check the video description box for important links. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. We'll see you next time, next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>